hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell now it comes to no surprise that are some manufacturer actually pushing back against their dealers with their greedy price gouging whole situations um first it was you know ford i don't know if it was first i think it was general motors was first or chevy deal or chevy well general motor in general was first and then um <coughs> and then you have the Ford also coming out and as well as Hyundai and Kia I guess they are also saying some stuff but here's uh, another big one is a Japanese manufacturer known as Subaru Subaru has actually written a letter to their dealers letting them know like hey knock it off not that they will you know because they, they don't care because Ford was actually going to be limiting the amount of um, mock es that they're going to be shipping at dealerships if they don't cut it out with this you know, price gouging, all that nonsense. But anyway, let's go ahead and read what the Subaru executives has to say. It's interesting. And that it's important for us to cover these kind of stories. Well, at least for me, it's important to cover these kind of stories because I do want to cover any time a company is making the right decisions and as well as, you know, getting on them when they're making the wrong decisions or not saying all the right things or when they're messing up and they're not being accountable. It's important for us to be evenly objective as much as we can. You know, you can't just lean one way. You kind of have to, you know, blur that line and be in the middle. So for me, I tried to be um, right in the middle, or at least try to be somewhat unbiased. Oh, oh, you like how I did that? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. All right. So it's going to be a long read. So bear with us and we will drop some stuff along the way. Dear friends, we realize that our demand matrix are at record highs and our inventory levels are at historic lows due to a variety of relevant factors, including the extraordinary and extenuating circumstances created by the COVID-19 pandemic, labor shortages, and global supply chain disruptions. Despite these challenges, new heights in retailer profitability continue to be achieved. We have supported you, our retailers, to help ensure that you are able to continue to continue to honor the love and promise in all our customers' interactions. However, it has increasingly come to our attention some Subaru retailers are selling our products at prices which are not consistent with our love promise. We are receiving increasing numbers of customer letters and emails vicariously complaining about sales of our vehicles at prices above MSRP. Please see an example, a customer letter on the following page. So keep the pressure on keep writing those emails keep tweeting the car manufacturers and letting them know what's going on so maybe they eventually will do something they have to do something even in ford's clause where it says that you cannot um sell this vehicle to a broker and then that broker will sell the vehicle for a large amount of money you know and then the dealership is kept you know keeping that money or stashing it or whatever they want to do with it so there's clauses in in there but I don't know what the clause is when it comes to Subarus, um, dealers or retails, whatever they, their interactions is. I'm not sure what it is. Um, we strongly discourage our retailers from engaging in these in this practices because of negative impact on this can have on our customer experience and our brand loyalty. In addition, such a practice does not fit with brand philosophy of our love promise, the promise to provide our customers with best purchase and ownership experience in the industry. We don't feel that right now, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what happens. Some of these letters is just going to fall in deaf ears and the dealerships are going to continue to do whatever they want to do. Unless there's consequences. Once there is consequences, they're, then they're, they will least likely continue to price gouge and making us pay out the, behind. It certainly does not fit creating a love promise moment at the time of purchase. In fact, it gets the relationship with the customer off on the wrong foot right from the start and will harm the long-term loyalty to your store and Subaru brand. And that is facts because uh, I've been saying this a lot. It's important for us to know which, which dealerships are price gouging and are doing all these crazy things because once the pandemic is over, guess what? We're not going to go to your dealerships. We're not going to purchase from you. We're going to go somewhere else that's been treating the customers correct and getting the best bang for our buck, especially in this hard times that we're that we're in right now so we'll see <clears throat> as we discuss uh, my eyes are new rock honda the worst 
as we discussed at our past national business conference and our various businesses update meetings and our strat strategy is to separate our retailers from typical car dealer taking advantage of the current market imbalance between supply and demand is something a clear a car dealer would do and it's not something a subaru retailer would consider doing it goes against the heart honesty empathy appreciation respect trust pillars which is the foundation of our brand in fact the mind of our customer it can negate all the positive actions you're doing through your love promise activations 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 i don't know shared love in your local community yes i completely agree with that sentiment i completely agree a hundred percent all the positive things that you may be doing in the community it just goes by the wayside when you're not treating your customers correctly like i said then they have no incentive to come back they may buy one car from you yeah you're gonna make a lot of profit but guess what long term i'm not gonna come back to your dealerships to do service i'm gonna go somewhere else if I want to buy another Subaru, guess what? I'm going to go to a different dealership that's going to treat me right, especially during this pandemic. I'm telling you, the long-term ramification is not worth that extra $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 that you might make on a deal. Not worth it at all. We request those Subaru retailers who are engaging in the practice of selling vehicles at prices not consistent with love promise to reframe because of the negative impact this is bringing to our brand. And the current situation is testing our resolve commitment and discipline to the principles of our love promise customers commitment please stay committed to our brand philosophy we are looking forward to see many of you at the upcoming nda convention starting on march 10 where we can further discuss the subject and other topics best wishes continued success and please stay star fall star full. so uh, i completely agree with what the um what Thomas Duell has to say, president and CEO of Subaru of America. Um, will this happen? Who knows? I think there needs to be ramifications or at least consequences to stop these dealerships from these nefarious price countings. Now, if they will like limit the amount of supply a certain dealership is getting, same thing that the Ford dealerships are going to be, you know, <laughs> um, same thing that, I'm sorry, same thing that Ford is going to be doing to its dealers where if you're charging these ridiculous prices then they might take away your allocations of the mach e and hand it off to another dealerships so there needs to be some sort of consequence otherwise this is just going to fall on deaf ears they have no incentive to stop what's going to stop them you're going to keep sending us car well we're just going to keep sending we'll keep selling them for these ridiculous prices there's no incentive to stop them from doing this the only way is if you limit the amount of allocations that they're getting that's the only way that you can stop these dealerships from charging these prices and continue to um I'll sell them and um, and promise to deliver that love, love promise, the hot, hot, honesty, empathy, appreci appreciations, respect and trust. So we don't, we're not getting any of that when you go to the dealerships. We're not getting any of that. We're getting the good old lube. Actually, no lube. I wish they would give you lube. Hurt less. Anyways, <laughs> that's the video. If you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a lovely day because I'm out.